friends or we'll be totally alone in high school. Now with the old, in with the new. Riley's light requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. <gasps> you can't just bottle us up. Inside Out 2 has made over $1 billion for its box office globally. It has joined the $1 billion club. Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2 is the newest member of the billion dollar club. The anim animated feature has tallied $1.04 billion worldwide as of Sunday, making it the highest grossing film of 2024. Would it surpass Super Mario Brothers? Who knows? And the first film since Warner Brothers, Barbie, to top one billion at the global box office, and it could be one of Disney's most recent billion-dollar film. Even though it is Pixar, it's still part of the Disney family. See, when you take out all this garbage that they put in these other films. You get people wanting to go watch your movie. You get rid of all the wokeness. All the people. Not all the people. But all the things that are, are in movies that people don't want to watch. They want to be entertained. Not be lectured to. Not to be told that they're racist. Sexist. Homophobe. Xenophobe. That's why they go watch movies. They don't go watch movies just because they want to. They go there to get entertained. They're there to be entertained. That's why they go to the weekends with their families to enter, get entertained. And that's what Inter Inside Out did. Inside Out 2 made people go and watch the movie. And it, it did entertain them. On behalf of movie theater owners across the country and around the world, we want to congratulate Disney Inside Out 2 for grossing one billion faster than any animated movie in history, said Michael O'Leary, president and CEO of the National Association of Theater Owners. The film's stunning global success once again illustrates that audiences the world over will respond to compelling, entertaining movies that they were to enjoy there on the big screen. And that they want to enjoy them on the big screen. Like I said, you don't lecture people. You don't put, uh, force things down their throat. You're going to come watch your movie. They're there to be told a story. That's what a movie is. A story. And if they like your story, they'll, keep, they'll spread that story around. And more people will start coming watch to start and come watch these movies. Don't like your people. Don't wokeify your stuff. They're there to enjoy themselves as a family, to eat some popcorn, eat, eat, get a drink, enjoy their entertainment. The billion dollar and benchmark is a much needed win for Disney Pixar. Animated Hub, a once prolific, successful studio, Pixar has suffered as the box office in the wake of the pandemic. Much of its difficulties have come in part because Disney opted to debut a handful of animated features directly on streaming service Disney Plus during the theatrical closures. And even once uh, cinemas had re reopened, as a result, before Inside Out 2, no Disney animated feature from Pixar or in Walt Disney Animation Studios had generated more than $480 million at the global box office since 2019. Inside Out... Two is Disney's billion-dollar movie that they haven't reached in a very long time. All the woke garbage that they put on these, the non-good stories. Now it's not just the woke stuff; it's also the non-good stories. That's why don't people don't watch them. 
the characters that don't make sense, the the storyboards that don't make sense, things that don't make sense. People are not going to watch it. People, if people are not going to enjoy your movie, they're not going to come and watch it. They're not going to spread, hey, man, go watch this movie. Like, no, you know. They'll probably tell people, no, don't watch the movie. Flops after flops after flops after flops from Disney tarnished the company. I was surprised. I was surprised that a lot of people went to go out and watch this movie. I thought they were going to do all the things that they did to the other movies, the other Pixar movies, and the other Disney movies that they did. Which was surprising that they didn't do it to this one. Maybe they needed a winner, and this is their winner for right now. Inside Out 2 has also showcased how uh, vital the family audience is to the box office. This underserved crowd accounted for more than 70% of those in the attendance during the films. So yeah, a lot of family members or a lot of parents like to take their kids to go watch animated films. And if your film is beloved, it's a beloved film, people are going to go watch it. If it's really good, people will go watch it. Even adults. Even adults will like to watch these type of films. If it's family friendly. If it has a good story. It has good morals. It has all the things, all the characteristics that made a good storytelling. Domestic debut according to data from Intelligent. While this uh, audience came out in droves for Universal's The Super Mario Brothers movie, which generated more than $1.36 billion at the global box office, there was a little for them to feast, uh, feast on until the recent release of Sony's F, the Garfield movie, and Paramount's If. It, if, there you go, if. A lot of weird movies. <laughs> Just one word or one letter. But yeah, Garfield, beloved franchise. I don't know about this if. I've seen it uh, going around. I don't know about that. And then there's F. I guess that's those ifs or F, whatever. But yeah. We haven't gotten a lot of animated films in a while, so this, we're going into the summer, and of course a lot of animated films are going to start coming up. We have still the Despicable Me 4, very well-known, well-beloved franchise. It's going to come out very soon as well, just like Inside Out did. Could uh, surpass even Inside Out since it is a more beloved franchise. Everybody loves Illumination Studios. Everybody loves Illumination Animation. Great, great studios. They produce a lot of great animated uh, animations. Including, of course, the Despicable Me franchise. From Despicable Me to Minions and stuff like that. So, expect that one to even surpass Inside Out 2. So, that one would probably be another billion dollar member joining the billion dollar club how no how fast who knows could be animated movie of the year we still have the, like the fall season and, and the summer uh, not the summer but the winter season to come but could be the top uh, animated film that families will go to watch well yeah pretty good for inside out too i was i thought completely I heard rumors about Inside, Inside Out 2 that uh, they did, uh, they tarnished this franchise as well. Rumors were wrong. People enjoyed the film. Great. It was a great movie. A great movie as well. It really was. Inside Out 2 also drove the coveted teen demographic to cinemas with 14% of foot traffic coming from those age 13 to 17. This younger generation has been largely absent from the market in recent years. Like, 
kids used to go to the movie theaters a lot more. That's where it used to be the hangout place for teenagers. They like to go to the movies, enjoy a good movie, hang, uh, first dates, and stuff like that. As a future of moviegoers, this group is particularly important to the industry. Getting them back to the big screen has become a top priority for studios and movie theater op operators. So that's a very important demographic to bring get back. Kids used to go, or teenagers used to go to movies a lot. Now it's more of a family-friendly place. That's where uh, movie is, is now, and now they're trying to bring back these teenagers that used to be there, used to make the place popular, used to bring the revenue to the place. Now they're bringing them back slowly but steadily, slowly but steady, steadily. You got to make good movies in order to bring people back. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Please do drop a comment in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you on the next video. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace out.